Hello everyone, this is Sharmila here. Today in this session, we will discuss about one of the most significant and fascinating algorithmic design strategy, which is nothing but the divide and conquer technique. So today, the things to be covered is, I'll basically start by introducing and defining divide and conquer, and then what is the idea behind divide and conquer, its algorithm, and then to understand it clearly, there is a pictorial representation of divide and conquer. Then we will cover up its application and then its example and pros and cons of the divide and conquer technique. So let's discuss this more. I'll begin by outlining the divide and conquer technique. Here, the divide and conquer is a best known algorithm design technique, it is based on the recursion concept. Uh, this algorithm works on by recursively breaking down a problem into two or more subproblems of the same types until these become simple enough to be solved directly. The solution of the subproblems are then combined to give the solution to the original problem. So basically, this is the concept of divide and conquer approach. Let's look at the definition first. Here, they define it as the divide and conquer algorithm is a strategy of solving a larger problem by breaking the problem into smaller subproblems and combining them to get the desired output. That is, in divide and conquer, problem is divided into smaller problems. Then smaller problems are solved independently. Finally, the solution of the smaller problems will be combined into a solution for the whole problem. Let's examine the DNC's central concept. What is the idea behind this divide and conquer technique? The idea of this divide and conquer technique is that to find the optimal solution for a problem. And the basic idea is to uh, decompose a given problem into two or more similar but simpler subproblems to solve them in turn and to compose their solution to solve the given subproblem. So, this is the idea behind the divide and conquer technique. Now, let me explain the logic of this divide and conquer algorithm. Like, let me describe how the divide and conquer algorithm works. Here, this divide and conquer al algorithm can be divided into three parts as uh, divide the problem, conquer the subproblem, combine the solution. Firstly, we have to divide the problem into number of subproblems as a smaller instance of the problem then conquer the subproblem that is we have to solve the subproblem recursively and find the solution for subproblem finally combine the solution we should combine the solution of the subproblem into a single solution for the whole problem so here in the next slide we can see the pictorial representation of the algorithm Firstly, we are taking a problem which is of size n and then what we are doing is we are dividing the problem into subproblems which is of size n by 2. And the next step what we do is we just find the solution for that individual subproblems and finally we are combining the solutions of the individual subproblem in order to get the solution for the original problem. By this point, I am sure that everyone uh, has a solid knowledge of this algorithm. So, let's move to next slide. Here, let's see the application of divide and conquer. There are few algorithms that are designed based on the divide and conquer technique, such as sorting algorithms like uh, quick sort, merge sort, binary search. This divide and conquer technique can be applied in finding the minimum and maximum in a problem. The closest pair of points, Tresen's algorithms are based on this divide and conquer technique. I guess you might not have been that much familiar with the Tresen's algorithm, but this is nothing but it is an algorithm for matrix multiplication. And yeah, uh, these are the applications. And here in the next slide, uh, let me explain you an example problem which is to be solved based on the divide and conquer technique. Here in this example, we will take an array that consists of elements as 7, 6, 1, 5, 4 and 3. So firstly, according to the algorithm, we have to divide the problem into subproblem and find solution to the individual subproblem. 
then we have to combine the solutions likely here in the first step we are just splitting the problem into equal halves of sub problem as you can see it as like 7 6 1 and 5 4 3 in the next step again you have to split it up further until it becomes individual problem here in the next step we are finding the solutions of sub problems like here we are firstly comparing the elements and just placing the elements first that are smaller basically we are just sorting recursively in order to get the sorted array here as you can see here we are uh, finally combining the uh, solutions of the sub problems to get the answer for original problem here we got the sorted array as 1 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this is how the divide and conquer works out hope you are clear with it each and everything has its uh, own positive and negative side as if divide and conquer too here this divide and conquer technique has some advantages first one is solving difficult problem divide and conquer is a powerful tool for solving conceptual difficult problem and secondly algorithm efficiency divide and conquer like uh, it has an uh, efficient algorithm to deal with problems thirdly parallelism this algorithm is naturally adapted for execution in multiple multiprocessor machines and then it has a uh, good uh, memory access and round off control let's see the disadvantages actually there are some implementation issues that are based on recursion like uh, based on recursion explicit stack uh, stack size choosing base uh, case dynamic programming for overlapping sub problems one of the important uh, uh, con is that it may crash the system if the recursion is performed rigorously and yeah uh, hope you all just got a good idea about this divide and conquer this is all about the divide and conquer tech thank you